Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be testing out the MacBook Air with the M4 chip and we're gonna test this out. How can you edit videos on this? Because, uh, well, it's supposed to be a video editing laptop and uh, yeah, switching from a PC to a Mac, it, it was, it was uh, confusion. <laughs> but I'm really keen to see how this works out. So let's jump into the Mac and into DaVinci Resolve and see how this works. So I made a few clips with my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. These are 10 bit clips, 4K, D Log M. So I'll be bringing this into, well, uh, I actually have a mouse. I bought, I bought the magic mouse, which is kind of interesting, although you have to charge it you know, down below, but I'm gonna use the mouse. So let's bring the files in here. And as, as I was mentioning, these are 4K files. 10-bit video and it is a H.265 encoding so it should be hard for a computer to work with this so I'm keen to see how this is going to work so uh, let's open up the library bring all of these files in here right here onto my timeline this will actually be my first test as to see how well this works because this M4 chip supposedly has oh Whoa, okay, this scrubs, this is smooth, seriously, but <laughs> I do have a uh, 1080p timeline, so I'm gonna go with a 4K timeline. So this is 4K video on a 4K, oh, wow. Okay, this runs, man, this runs smoother than on my on my workstation PC, and I, and I have a beefy PC laptop uh, with a Quadro RTX 5000, 16 gigabytes of VRAM, 64 gigabytes of memory on my computer. And this is like an M4 MacBook Air that, you know, doesn't even have cooling. This is, this is pretty much a, it's pretty much a tablet. <laughs> and the Mac OS really feels like a tablet, but yeah. Wow, uh, very impressive, I have to say, for a compressed video file, 10 bit. So what I wanna do now is I wanna, I wanna add some color grades onto this. I wanna really beef it up so that my computer is going to start to struggle. Let's see, okay, <clears throat> let's pick a clip. Let's go with this one. I think this one's okay. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go into my color grade, so in my colors, uh, and before we do this, we need to set up the color space. If you guys are new to DaVinci, I just wanna show you what, what, what kind of color space I'm using. So color management, DaVinci White Gamut is my timeline uh, uh, color space, and the output is a Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4, which is kind of a standard delivery color space. So here we are. In the colors, uh, just pick up the hero moment. I think this one's going to be okay. So what I will be doing is first I will convert this D-Log M into a Rec. 709 and then I will add a film emulation, you know, really heavy duty stuff for the computer and I'm curious to see how that's going to work. But before we do this, there's one thing that I typically do and which I think you should do as well. Whenever you're working with 10-bit videos, you should have the full data uh, no, information within your timeline. So you click here and you go with not auto, but full. This is going to make all the videos a bit more flat and it's going to compress the waveform into a, well, a 10-bit waveform. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just do this. We'll have way more latitude, way more room to, to work with videos. So let's go back into the colors page. And first of all, let's convert this into Rec. 709. So DJI, I'm going to use the official LUT. Links are down in the description. Pocket 3, so this converts my video from a flat looking video into an awesome looking video. And because I've set my data to full, you can see that I have here a bit of room for the blacks, for the for, for the brights, and I'm gonna leave this, I just, I don't want this to be clipping in any direction, so this kind of gives me a, a, a bit more wiggle room. And now I'm going to create a new node, I'm gonna go uh, with option S, to create a new node. And I will use the film look creator. So I'll put this right on top of here. Oh, like this. Now on the LUT node, I'm also going to add the sharpness. I have the sharpness and denoising set to minus two on my camera. So I'm going to add a bit of sharpness back right here on the LUT node. I mean, typically you would add a different node, but it doesn't matter. So the film look creator. Now, before I start doing this, there's a link down in the description for the dehancer 
film emulation uh, plugin or software plugin for DaVinci Resolve, 10% off, I think. And that pretty much makes any digital video look like it was shot on a specific, you can actually choose the film, but on a specific analog film. I do recommend it. I don't have it installed on my new Mac MacBook Air, but I will do that uh, in the very near future. So for this video, I'm using the film look creator, which is similar. It's not as accurate, but it's similar. I'm actually going to use one of the you know, cinematic looks. So cinematic, it gives me the bars, but I will simulate this to be like a eight millimeter, you know, really you know, old school looking film. So we're going to start here. Uh, exposure, I think it's okay. I'm going to maybe bump up the exposure a little bit oh, like this, just a tiny bit. So very quickly, I'm going to add a bit of you know, a bleach bypass, which kind of you know, desaturates everything and, and makes it more old school looking. And I'm going to tone down the white balance just like this. Okay, so like before. And after, now we're gonna go lower. Now I'm going to use the vignette. I like a little bit of vignetting. Halation, I'm gonna you know, leave it as it is, bloom. So everything is turned on, grain. For the grain, this is where you know you make it look like a eight millimeter film. So I'm gonna actually choose a eight millimeter film grain. So this adds a lot of grain. So if I put this onto full screen, you can see how my computer is starting to struggle. So yeah, this is where this is where my workstation laptop with the beefy graphics card works <laughs> pretty much exactly like this. You know, this just kills the computer, and I'm really surprised that I'm running this on a 4K timeline. So let's let's maybe you know use the timeline playback resolution to have because when you're editing videos, you know, no need for full resolution. And see how this now works. Yeah, I mean this is. This is playing back at 25 frames per second. You know, this is a 25 frames per second video recording. You know, this I could not do on my four and a half thousand dollar workstation laptop, which is bananas. I mean, this M4 chip is just killing me. I mean, but killing me in a good way. I'll probably be selling my, uh, my uh, computer. No, the workstation. So since this is an eight millimeter film, I'm actually going to use the kind of super eight millimeter resolution because that's like a four by three. Uh, I'm going to also use the round curve so you can see it's, it's, it's rounded out on the edges. And by the way, I am at a bar, so there's a lot of noise. I hope YouTube doesn't, you know, uh, uh, license me or, or copy strike me because of the music that you can probably not hear in the background because I've isolated it with DaVinci Resolve and with, well, my MacBook Air, because the video that you're seeing right now is also edited on this computer. I have no idea how that's gonna go, but fingers crossed. Okay, so this is the film look simulator. This is how this looks. What I'm going to do is actually make it more, more uh, wavy. So gate wave, I'm gonna go all the way. And flickering, I'm gonna go all the way. This simulates, you know, the difference in the exposure frame to frame because the film is, let's say, um, old. So going full frame, you can see now that everything is a bit flickering and, and jittery and the exposure is jittering, makes it look more like old film. But there is one more thing I have to do and that's to add film damage, which the film look simulator or, or creator doesn't have. So Alt Option S and I'm going to go with film damage. Put this guy over here. I'm going to not have it as orangey, so I'm just gonna take this back a little bit. Temperature shift, okay, this one, I'm gonna go down so I can go to, let's say 0 0.1 maybe. I don't want it to be too orangey. And this guy, I'm gonna go up like this. So before, after, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit like this. So, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's you know this this thing this thing adds another effect to the whole thing. But honestly, can you edit this with the color grade? Typically, you add the color grade at the end. But you know, seriously, I mean, I can I can easily you know work work with my video, you know, and I can cut the video like you know like so, and it's running it's running smoothly, which is which is like really unbelievable. So how does this tablet? do when it comes to video editing. I mean, my God, this is a, a definite thumbs up. So if you wanna do video editing, uh, get a MacBook or something Apple, because Apple is made for video creation, for photos, and well, PCs are made for gaming. You know, it's, it's hard to game on this, 
but it's definitely easier to make videos on this so there you have it if you wanted to see how well the you know computer performs when it comes to hard hardcore effects in color grading and video editing yeah i mean this replaces my as i said four and a half thousand dollar euro uh, workstation laptop with an rtx quadro graphics card are you kidding me so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button if you did consider subscribing if you're new and leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos or if you have any questions thank you and if you want to stay on the channel watch this video next thank you i'll see you in this one bye bye